Welcome in the kitchen. I'm glad you're here. I love when you all come in the kitchen with me. It just makes my day. Tonight we're going to make chicken carbonara. You can leave the chicken out and just have pasta carbonara. Um, and I'm going to use angel hair pasta. I went to find that Boutini pasta. They didn't have it. Um, I had seen it at Aldi, but when I went back, it was gone. Um, and it looks like a piece of spaghetti that's got a hole all the way through the middle. Um, but they were out or just didn't have it. I don't know. Anyway, I had seen it there before, but they did not have any today. So, we are going to start this recipe. If y'all can hit the subscribe button for me, be wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... And I'm going to get started cooking this. First of all, I'm going to do our chicken. Do I want to do the chicken first or the bacon? I think I'll do the bacon first. I'm going to start with a cup and a half of chopped bacon. I may have a little bit extra, but that would be fine. It will not hurt one thing to have a little extra bacon, will it? Then we'll fry it right here in this skillet. And I've got five egg yolks right here. And I'm going to whip those up because this is what makes our sauce. This and the pasta water. Okay. I also have one cup of diced onion. And I have one cup of Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheese. I've got about a half a cup of that fry cheese blend that I use that is Asiago, Parmesan, and Romano. And the other half a cup is just Parmesan. Because um, it calls for Parmesan, Romano cheese or Parmesan, Reggiano cheese. I know I'm killing this. If y'all are Italian, I, I, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. But I'm not Italian. I'm a Southern girl that's never been to Italy, but that's one place that I'd love to go. Uh, um, I'd love to go to Italy and learn to cook and take some classes and learn how to make my own pasta. I would just love that. Um, so, we're going to get this bacon here. We want it, I'm going to turn it down. I don't want to cook it too fast because I want it to get real crispy and all the fat render out of it. I don't want it to be um, burnt and I don't want it to be chewy. I want it to be very crispy. So when that gets done, we'll be right back. We've got our pasta water going here. And you know we always have to salt it. And we want to put a generous amount of salt in it. All right. Generously salted our pasta water. Our bacon is still cooking. When it gets done, we'll be back. Y'all keep telling me I'm going to cut you off, but I never do, do I? I'm leaving y'all just running. Here's the cheeses that I'm using. This right here, this shaved blend. Um, Asiago Parmesan Romano. And then I've just got shredded Parmesan. Okay? Y'all know me. I have to add just a little bit of butter around the edge of my pot here to keep it from boiling over. I do this every time I cook pasta or potatoes. Or anything I'll just add a little bit of butter around that edge and that's just a tiny little bit left on that spoon so it's going in the pot well I love chicken carbonara I love the flavors in it and um, we've got a local pizza place that has a carbonara pizza, and oh my mercy, 
it is by far one of my favorites. Um, it is delicious. I'm going to try to do some different things with you all, things I've never made before um, that just sound so yummy. I've got some lemon chicken recipes I want to do that are just like a light sauce um, that I think would be wonderful. Um, I'll do them with you all and I'll let you know if they're any good or not. Because if it's not good, I'll tell you. Okay, can y'all see this? I went ahead and put my chicken on back here. And I've just, turn the lights back on. Put my chicken on back here and I've just got it cut up in just little small pieces. Can y'all see that? Thought I'd just cook it in a separate pan. And it's just in a little bit of butter and I'm just gonna saute that up. Our bacon is just about ready here. To get out and put on a put on a paper towel. Oh, I don't have a paper towel. Let me grab one. Okay. I grabbed just some napkins here. I'm gonna grab something out there to get that out with. Looks lovely. <laughs> now then, right into this grease, we're going to add this one cup of onions. See, one cup of onions. Right there. We are going to cook those. Well, it's already turned down. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. I'm going to cook those very slowly, and we do not want them to burn. We want them to caramelize. Okay? So we're just going to let those cook down a little bit. Our pasta water is boiling. We do not add our pasta until the very last minute. We do not want overdone pasta. And this angel hell cooks in about four minutes. So everything else I will have ready before I add that pasta to that water. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt on that chicken. There's some pepper. Y'all oh, lost the lid to the salt. It went down behind the stove. So we just have a lidless salt box. And we'll have to either pull the I'll either have to pull the stove out or I will have to buy me another one. And I'd say chances are I'll buy another one because I'd say I won't get any help to pull the stove out. So, turn this water down. I don't want it to all boil away while our onions cook here. Got them just cooking on one side because my skillet's too big for the stove. I've got to get me a new cooktop or something. I've got more space, y'all. I don't have room to cook. So y'all need to subscribe so I can afford to get me a new cooktop. And y'all, there are links in my description box below of things I use every day in my kitchen. If you would go down there and go through those links if you plan to buy something, it helps me out. Gives me a few cents. Now, mind you, there ain't nobody getting rich doing this. Um, but gives me a few cents. Doesn't cost you a penny more. But it just helps me out a little bit to be able to keep doing this for you all. Those onions are looking so lovely. All right, let me look at my recipe here. 
Make sure I'm doing this right. All right, it says I'm supposed to season these onions with some salt and pepper. I don't have a whole lot of onions, so I'll put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then it says to turn them down on low. So that's what I've done. Turned them down on low. All right, let's see now what does it say to do. I've got my eggs separated and the yolks here. And we whisk together the eggs and half the cheese. Well, that's almost all the cheese, but that's all right. This right here is what will make our sauce. Now let's see what it tells us to do. All right, we add our egg mixture to a large stainless steel bowl. And that is so that it will keep it, hold the heat. Okay. Put the lens on them. He's over here messing with our seeds. All right, there's our egg mixture. And I'm going to leave our onions sitting there just like that until everything else is ready because this will come together very quickly. I want to get our chicken kind of browned up good. not quite started to brown yet but it will um, and I don't want to add our onions to this yet because I don't want it to cook it mm -hmm. so let's see now what does it say to do it says to cook the pasta All righty. I need, I'll just get this right here. Just scoop my pasta water here in a minute. We'll put this together here in just a minute when I come back. Okie doke, I'm going to drop this angel hair pasta in there. Fan it out. Got about half my box. Throw a little more in there. I'm using angel hair. Use any kind of pasta you want. Use spaghetti, use macaroni noodles, fantail, bow tie, panini, whatever. You can use pasta as pasta pretty much. It's just the shape that it's in and the length of time it takes to cook. So... I'm going to pull this down in that water, spin it around so that it's all down in there. I'm getting happy, happy, happy. Our chicken is starting to brown just a little bit. Put me just a little teaspoon or so of water to pull all that brown up off the bottom of that skillet. So that all that brown flavor goes right into my chicken. Now my stove is clean. Plus that's going in a skillet that's so hot that if it had anything, any bacteria on it, I trust me, it would kill it. Mm -hmm. 
that chicken is done, I just like for it to brown a little bit more. But it's done and it's tender. Watch our pasta here. We don't want it to overcook. I'm going to go ahead and take out our onions. See if I can get me something. This for our pasta. A little bit at a time and whip, 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 because you do not want that to cook those eggs. And it will. It will cook those eggs. Just going to add them a little bit at a time. Because you do not want your eggs scrambled. Pop a little more water in there. Y'all, I like chicken just cooked like that. of our onions here. I believe that's got all we can get. That's helping to temper those eggs a little bit. And these eggs will cook just from the residual heat from the pasta. We'll cook those eggs. And the pasta water, it sure will, and it'll melt that cheese. And it'll all be so happy together. Let's check this pasta here. Uh -huh. One in the ball. Saw I believe it's done. Mm. Pasta is done. Not quite. Needs another just a minute. Still a little crunchy right in the center. But it will be just a minute. Just a minute. Look at our chicken back there. Doesn't that look yummy? This is not a tomato-based pasta at all. It's just a I want to get all those onions. And I guess we need all that grease. I don't know. This is something new for me. I know I like chicken carbonara when I order it out. I've never made it. And actually, the recipe says to use pancetta, which is not a smoked bacon. It's just an unsmoked bacon. But I've eaten it out at local restaurants, and they use smoked bacon. So that's what I'm using. Keep adding a little bit of water to that. It keeps that chicken from drying out. You can add chicken broth if you have just a little bit you want to use. I don't have any chicken broth that's opened and I'm not going to open it. All right, now I believe this pasta is done. Woo, let me taste it. Mmm, yes, it's done. All right, now then. We're going to add all this pasta right in here. I'm going to add it a little bit at a time, and I'm going to stir. Stir, 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 stir. 
I do not want to scramble these eggs. something better to stir that with than a rubber spatula. Use these tongs. See if I can grab out the rest of this. Now this is where you gotta work fast, you all. You need your pasta water too. You don't want to use plain water. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I'm gonna bring y'all down here. Turn you down. All right, now then, I'm going to add a scoop full of this pasta water. This is something you've got to do in a hurry, you all. There we go. Now then, that'll make our sauce. Thank you. Oh, we're having chicken and pasta. All right, now then we're going to add our bacon back in there, our crunchy bacon. Not all of it. We'll leave some of it for garnish on the top. And we're going to add our chicken in there. And that's all there is to this, you all. It's quick and easy. Andy, turn the lights back on. There we go. Oops, there went a piece of chicken out. There went another. I'm going to eat this one. Mmm. I think it needs a little more salt. And we'll add the rest of this cheese. Just like this. Like I said, this bowl is hot. It's the reason you use a stainless steel bowl. All right, let me see what we got going on over here. Here's our cheese. I'm going to add a little extra cheese to it. Then we'll add a little bit more on the top for garnish on our plate with the bacon. But I don't think it's got quite enough cheese for my taste, so I'm adding a little bit more. If you want to add cream or milk to this, you by all means you could. It would be good in it, but your traditional carbonara does not have it. I'm going to get me a fork right here. And a little saucer. And we're going to put a little bit on this plate right here. I'm supposed to take it and swirl it, but... Put a little bit of bacon on top. Oh, we're supposed to put some parsley. Ah, I forgot my parsley. I knew it needed something green. Here it is. I'm like, I know it needs a little parsley to add it for some color. There. I'll put a sprinkling of that in there and stir that. Parsley doesn't have a lot of 
so let's get it off. Doesn't have a lot of flavor, but it does add a little bit, and it makes it so much more appetizing. Look at that. See all the partial. Look at all the steam. I'm probably steaming y'all up. All right, let's give it a go. Let's try this. Mmm. Yummy, you all. Yummy. Mmm. This will definitely go into our rotation of Italian dishes. And we definitely do love Italian. We love our Italian, that's for sure. So, there you go. Y'all see that? I'm going to take y'all down here and look at it. So you can see in my bowl. Good, look at that. Doesn't that look just delicious? Wonderful chicken carbonara. Oh my goodness. I just cannot say enough about this recipe. And we will definitely be making this again because this was very quick, very easy, and tons of flavor, you all. I love anything pasta. We're going to do some more pasta dishes for sure um, because that's one of the things that I love the most. Glad y'all stopped by. Remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a video. And that'll be all for this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.